Welcome to the first 2018 Meta Snapshot Breakdown. With the release of Kobolds and Catacombs came some of the biggest changes to competitive Hearthstone. The offseason provided pro and casual players a testing ground to experiment with new archetypes, with results that defied pre-release expectations. This month, we'll see the launch of the 2018 Hearthstone Championship Tour, and a standard pool of cards that will be tested extensively in the coming weeks for the World Championship in Amsterdam by some of the game's current strongest contestants. Let's take a look to see what the start of 2018 has in store for us. Tier 1 was greatly contested in the first weeks of the Kobolds and Catacombs release, but three clear victors have emerged to lead the meta snapshot. Highlander Priest, Cubelock, and Agro Paladin. Highlander Priest remains the top deck to beat at the start of another competitive season, with the addition of Psychic Scream providing the archetype a devastatingly complete board clear. Bolstered by another AoE staple and a slower meta, the combination of Raza the Chained and Shadow Reaper Anduin continues to reign as a meta powerhouse on ladder and in tournaments. However, Cube Lock has seen a great surge in popularity, seeing strong ladder results by many top players. Some top players have even begun calling it the best deck in the game. The list continues to be refined and experimented with on a daily basis, but the Carnivorous Cube and Doomguard package remains at the core of every deck. This combo, along with additional cards Warlock received from the Kobolds and Catacombs expansion, has resurrected the Control Warlock archetype to become a leader on the ladder. The deck's strength is in its great versatility against aggro and control matchups. Cubelock's sheer power potential is still being explored as of this snapshot. Aggro Paladin emerged from the expansion as the newest high-tier aggro deck to join the meta snapshot, even overtaking Tempo Rogue for two snapshots in a row as the more powerful aggro list. Call to Arms made the archetype really strong for both ladder and tournament play, allowing the deck to rapidly populate the board in the early game. This card is strong enough to single-handedly place Murloc Paladin in Tier 1 as well for the first weeks of the meta, despite a lower power level than its more aggressive counterpart. The additions of Drygulch Jailer and Unidentified Maul also allow the archetype to exploit token-based synergies with Knife Juggler and Sunkeeper Taran. Though it is slightly unfavored against Cube Lock and Tempo Rogue, it finds a wider range of favorable matchups in the current meta than either deck particularly against Tempo Mage and the new Spiteful Summoner Dragon Priest archetype. The power of Priest and Warlock control tools relegated Tempo Rogue to Tier 2 in the first week, but the Kalisath archetype recovered to Tier 1 in the second week as one of the more well-rounded decks in the meta. The addition of Corridor Creeper synergizes strongly with the deck's early game board control strategy and aggro mirrors, while providing a strong board presence in turns after traditionally devastating early board clear, such as Defile or the new Duskbreaker staple in Dragon Priest decks. The deck has become especially effective against Jade Druid, Big Druid, and the more common aggro paladin. Honorable mentions at the top of the meta include Big Priest and Secret Mage. The Big Priest high roll strategy finds success at the top of Tier 2 while reaping the benefits of Psychic Scream along with the Diamond Spellstone. This lethal combination of board clears and large threats finds favorable matchups against Highlander Priest and Cube Lock, though it struggles against Aggro Paladin and the dragon based variants of Priest. Tempo Mage has risen in popularity for much the same reasons as Big Priest, with Aluneth threatening great damage in the late game against any control deck. It also struggles against aggro decks to a greater degree, but the continued popularity of Priest and Warlock will continue to make Tempo Mage a sound meta deck to climb with in the coming month. Kobolds and Catacombs brought the game to a whole new power level. With this comes the arrival of old archetypes that have not been seen in over half a year, as well as new decks built from the latest set release. In addition to the trending cube lock archetype, we have Spiteful Dragon Priest, a new deck that exploits Spiteful Summoner to call on 8 and 10 mana minions, free from amber and mind control. Though the turn 6 play is powerful in its own right, the addition of Duskbreaker has made it possible for such a list to work without Dragonfire Potion, reducing the early game threat of aggro decks to make way for game ending tempo plays. Grand Archivist also gives the deck a powerful late game, casting a third free from amber or an 8 mana mind control from the deck to give Highlander Priest, Big Priest, and Cubelock a hard time. Face Hunter has also been resurrected in this expansion, becoming the favored hunter archetype for the latter over Spellstone and Recruit archetypes to have emerged from Kobolds and Catacombs. 
Despite the anti-aggro power of Control Warlock and board swarming potential of Aggro Paladin, Face Hunter returns to the meta at Tier 2 on the backs of Candleshot and Corridor Creeper, both of which have strong synergy with the aggressive Pirate Package. Dire Mole also gave the archetype another strong one-drop, giving the deck more early game options to contest board-centric mid-range decks. Though in the bottom of Tier 3, Recruit Warrior deserves an honorable mention for being the first new warrior archetype since Taunt Warrior from Journey to Ungoro. The Recruit package of Gather Your Party and Woe Cleaver with big minions did see rank 1 legend early in the expansion's life cycle, but it'll be better known as a dungeon run archetype unless a better build or meta state for the archetype emerges. Corridor Creeper did a lot to turn the meta into a contention of tempo decks in the beginning, but Highlander Priest remains the undisputed ruler of the catacombs. Though community fascination with Q-Block did a lot to raise its popularity, the deck ranks high on the tier list as an answer to the Priest archetype, as well as suppressing experimental aggro decks. It sometimes uses the old handlock package of Mountain Giants and Faceless to place significant pressure against Highlander Priest's anti-aggro early game. With Aggro and Murloc Paladin as the resident aggro decks of our Tier 1 meta snapshots, both remain susceptible to the wide range of anti-aggro tools available to both the Priest and Warlock Titans of the latter. The best means of countering the meta to start your 2018 strong will be a combination of Tempo Rogue and Jade Druid. The playing field favors mid-range tempo-style decks like the Rogue archetype that can pivot between aggressive and board control playstyles. Matchups against Priest and Warlock still won't be easy, but the additions of Elven Minstrel and Corridor Creeper give the deck great draw and board power to compensate for waves of board clear. Traditional tools such as Backstab, SI7 Agent, and Vile Spine Slayer will continue to make Tempo Rogue one of the most well-rounded decks for the latter at the start of the 2018 competitive year. Despite being at the bottom of Tier 2, Jade Druid has been rising in response to the popularity of Highlander Priest. Branching Paths gave the archetype even more draw power to cycle through Jade Idols, in addition to giving the deck healing and damage options with a wide board. The armor potential of Malfury and the Pestilent in combination with Branching Paths allows the deck to potentially contest the full Shadow Reaper Anduin combo of Velen and Mind Blast, while Jades would continue growing in power against multiple board clears. It's one of the few decks on the ladder that's favored against both Q-Block and Highlander Priest while being able to hold its own against Aggro Paladin, so since all three continue to dominate the ladder, we recommend adding Jade Druid to your lineup. While 2017 has done much to shape competitive Hearthstone, we believe 2018 will be the game's biggest year yet. The game's latest rise in power levels gives us at Tempo Storm much to expect from the coming expansions and the third Hearthstone Championship Tour. The divide between Tier 1 and Tier 2 has grown in recent weeks, but we expect to see these lists refined as players take the most successful decks and work on teching or countering them to start 2018 strong, inspiring yet another round of innovation and testing across all nine classes. Even as of this meta report, the meta continues to evolve, with experimental Tier 3 decks reaching Legend. These are exciting times, and we'll be keeping an eye on how players innovate within the meta. If you enjoyed this meta snapshot breakdown, leave us a like or favorite, and be sure to subscribe to stay tuned to all of Tempo Storm's news and upcoming Hearthstone content in 2018.